We're about to drink the uh, Gage Roads Pale Ale. Well, I mean, we've already had one. And we've already had most of the conversation we were meant to have on, on camera. Get we're used gonna to have us. that now. Yeah, we're gonna rehash that. We've decided to challenge ourselves into drawing a portrait of one another because we have no ability to draw and we thought that could be a little bit entertaining. <laughs> so we've had one already. We quite enjoyed it. It's very refreshing, a little bit hoppy. That's about it. There's no real kind of big flavors hitting. There's nah. none of that. Yeah. I, I don't really get any of the fruity taste. Actually, uh, right down here. Bottom of the stubby, it says dry hopped and unfiltered, which is probably the best description. It's just, it's just a bit hoppy. Like really there is nothing, nothing else to it. I enjoyed this beer a bit more than the session ale we had last week. I enjoy the hoppy flavor as opposed to just a bitter flavor. Kind of the aftertaste in this beer makes me want to sip it again. See, and the funny thing, the, uh, mine's below it, below the, uh, below the session ale because I don't see myself sitting on too many of these. Not that it's bad tasting, I just, there's other things I would prefer. This, this is going to be a cropped version. I'm doing right. it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, what, what are they laughing about? Don't worry guys, we If don't. you know, you know. See, I said I ranked it, ranked it below the session hour because, like, I didn't think I could sit on it too much. And now I'm just enjoying sitting here, drinking that. Yeah, and drink it. You can just sit there and drink it then. Do you change your ranking though? I still think Coopers is above it. But that could just be loyalty to Coopers because I've enjoyed their drinks for a while now. Gage Roads, this is the second drink I've had from you guys. Uh, we've yeah. tried the single fin. We had that on tap. Um, it's a fruity lager. I guess it probably could be a good bridging beer for someone getting away from lager to yeah. try something more fruity. Any, any male over 50 that lives in Australia. When we rank more beers, you'll probably be able to gauge your tastes against ours if you happen to be going out and trying the beers we're trying. The idea is to eventually have you guys see our tastes in beer. And from that point, you'll be able to see if you enjoy the beers we enjoy. Yep. Harrison's. Swap and reveal. Doing the pose, of course. So, um... I think that's it. And I think can... I got my pose. Yes. No, I think, like, all in all for our uh, inability to actually do this, it we went did pretty okay. well. Um, check we did okay. And we hope it's uh, entertaining for you. Yeah. We'll post these on our social media so you can have a look. Print it, put it on your wall. There's nowhere else it deserves to go. No, art galleries. Say that it's your work. <laughs> I, I won't claim it. No copyright issues here, guys. Next week, join us as we review another beer, West Schooner and Hops. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.